we have arrived in Nausa and it's our first proper taste of like the classic whitewashed towns that you imagine when you come to Greece. And we're just going to have a little wander around and explore and see what it's like. morning everybody it's the next day we forgot to give our thoughts on Nosa yesterday basically it's lovely it is one of the bigger towns I thought it would be bigger it was still quite small for being like one of the more populated areas we are staying in a really small town called Drios which is on the south part of the island and not many tourists come to stay here but everything is way cheaper like our local Euros place super cheap beers are two euros and we get beaches like this all to ourselves Perikia is the go if you want those stock standard white building blue highlight Greek pics. So we have arrived in Lefkis <laughs> and um, we're just going to have a wander around. I don't think there's that much here. It's like a tiny little town in the middle of the island and it's just like very charming apparently to walk around but there's not really much to see or do or not really a good spot to stay in but we shall be the judge of that shall we left kiss <laughs> so if you've seen any photos of paros online you will have seen this spot here it's like the house on the corner is what they call it and it's like a famous instagram spot of paros but apparently the woman who lives there hates or just doesn't like people taking photos there so she's been known to like pile up stuff around here where people sit for their photos so that they can't do it but there's nothing there today so we might snap a little pick <laughs> This is how we decide who pays for drinks. <laughs> Off you go. Nah, so now we're just going to continue walking around Lefkis. <laughs> There's not much here, it's pretty quiet. A little village, I'd say. I wouldn't even call it a town. Yeah, it's got about two shops and three restaurants it's kind of the same vibe around the whole island like even in the towns where there's more going on it's not that much going on like we feel like you come to paris to chill out not to party don't expect it because you will be disappointed and regret your entire vacation <laughs> our channel's going nowhere <laughs> Next on the vlog, we take you to Milos, where we visit the famous Sarakaniko Beach, explore the town of Klima, and take you on a sailing tour around the island where we see some of the bluest water we've ever experienced, swim in caves, and check out an old pirate's bay. Subscribe to follow our Greek island hopping adventure. What do you like better, cinnamon donuts or a Krispy Kreme? Oh, a Krispy Kreme. A cinnamon donut is something you want to buy from the supermarket and have a big tub of 
so that when you get home from whatever you've been doing, you just quick cinnamon donut and a cup of tea, but a Krispy Kreme is like, it's an indulgence because it's an experience and it's a luxury for the tongue. But don't you think cinnamon donuts are a bit more versatile? Yeah. For any occasion? You yeah. can only have Krispy Kreme if you're feeling sweet tooth. If you're not feeling sweet tooth, you can still have a cinnamon donut, you know? Yeah, but that's why it's not special because it's can suit every occasion. 